Blake here with SLF Motion. Today we will be installing our Shimano 891 Evo speed system. Tools required for this installation are a Phillips screwdriver for the removal of the stock cage stop screw, a two millimeter hex for the SLF Motion stop screw, and a T10 Torx for the mounting pin. First steps, remove the chain and the rear wheel. Next step, shift your derailleur into its open position. And now we will remove the stop screw. Note the tension on the stock cage. Keep a hold of that with one hand. After the screw is removed, slowly allow the cage to rotate up and over. Once here, you're good to go. Now we're ready to remove the stock cage. Grab your T10 Torx. This guy on the bottom of the derailleur, unscrew it and pull this pin out. And now your stock cage is ready to be pulled on out. With your stock cage removed, we are now ready to prep your Evo system for installation. Remove the stock spring and dust shield and move it over to the Evo system. For this model, we offer three spring tension settings, low, middle, and high. Low is going to provide you the least friction, but high is going to provide you the best shifting. You decide what you're after. We recommend starting in the middle position. We are now ready to take it to the bike. With our Evo system prepped, we are now ready to install into the derailleur. Please note to align the tab on the spring and the dust shield with the groove in the derailleur. And now we are ready to reinstall the mounting pin. Take your T10 Torx, snug that back up. Next, we will remove the stop screw. And now, please pay close attention. This next step is critical. Without doing this correctly, your system will not perform as designed. You must rotate the cage up and over and back, creating tension on the internal spring. Once you've done so, you can reinstall your stop screw. And now we are ready to reinstall the rear wheel and the chain. If you're coming from a previously installed oversized system, your chain length is already set and you're ready to go. If you're starting with a new chain, unfortunately, I can't give you an answer that take two links out and you're gonna be good to go. With variances of cassette sizes, chain ring sizes, frame sizes, you're just gonna have to figure this out on your own. Uh, you are likely gonna have to remove between one to four links, depending on all those variables. But once set, you're gonna be good to go. So once you do have your chain on, then there is four critical things that still need to be done. One, readjust and reset your B screw. Two, readjust and set your high limit screw, as well as your low limit screw. And lastly, you will need to readjust your trim. Once that is done, you should have a perfectly operating Evo system. Just want to say thanks to Sean Walker for letting us use his beautiful new specialized Roubaix from Wheelfast Bicycle Company in Chatham. Sean actually spends some time on his bike, so it's not clean. Thanks, Sean. So I'll clean it for him to do my favorite part of every installation. 